Well, I'm here in Australia, and as promised, I've got some uh, solar panel work to do. A friend of mine has everything you need to put together a nice solar-powered system. We've got four solar panels at, what are they, um, 85 watts. That gives us, what, 224... 260 watts of power, right? So we've got 260 watts of solar panels. Uh, we've got, was it 28 times 4? 24. 8 times 4 is 24. Plus 5, 10, 15, 20. 8 times 4 is uh, 32. 32? So you've got 340 watts. 8 times 3 is 24. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Joy, yeah. this is really cool. So this gives us 340 watts of power total, which is actually a nice, very nice start. Uh, you'll remember my whole system only had 600 watts in the beginning, and this is going to be a standby for him to start saving energy, and he's in Australia where there's a lot more sun, so his system is probably going to be equivalent to my system in New York. Uh, which is quite impressive for a beginner setup. We've got two massive batteries. Now these are three years old, uh, but they have been maintained on a standby trickle charger, which I'll show you in a minute. These are 12 volt, 250 amp hour batteries, and there's two of them, so that gives us a total of 500 amp hours. That's quite impressive. Uh, compared to my RV, I have 600 amp hours. So this is a very nice system. And um, I'm going to be building a Bedini charger here as well to desulfate the batteries if needed later on. But hopefully they'll be fine. We've got here a standard charge controller. I think it was rated at 30 amps if I remember. 32 amps capacity, which is more than enough to handle this. We've got a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. Nice hefty thing. And we have a three-way absorption cooler. Australia is really big on camping gear. Uh, I'm really jealous about the amount of camping gear they have. And this runs on 240 volts AC or 12 volts DC or a barbecue gas bottle. So that's a very nice thing. We'll be running this on the 12 volts DC directly off the batteries or run an extension cord in. We'll figure that out later. And all the wires and connections. So, we're going to hook up a solar system today, a full complete solar setup. And here's the trickle charger he was using, so that hopefully the batteries will be fine. And so he kept them maintained through the years um, in between since they were on his trailer and he took them off. So, check the batteries here. Um, as you say, how long has it been since they've actually been in use? At least a year. At least a year. Yes. And when were they last charged? Uh, a month ago. About a month ago? Oh, that's not so bad. So we have 12.83 volts. Not bad at all. That's surprisingly good after all this time. And this one, 12.88 volts. Very nice. So we've got some good batteries to work with. That's uh, very uplifting. It's good news. See, uh, Jane, see if Johnny can take one of those nails out. Mm -hmm. I just, they got a bit squint. That doesn't matter. Right now what I'm doing is building the, uh, or we are building the base platform for the batteries to sit on. So that it'll keep them off the ground. And we, uh, chop the pallet down shorter and we're using the spare boards okay. to build the, uh, the platform for the batteries to rest on comfortably. So if we have another board, do we have one ready yet with no nails? There's a board with right. no nails. Who wants to put it on here? Me? Put the board right here. Daddy, look, my yeah. sword is really right strong. There. I know, in the middle. It's protected with this piece of plastic. Very nicely. And I think it's very strong. One nail here, yeah. one nail here. Very 
Yep, you can go ahead and nail that together. Let me check it out. You want to put that in your cup? Sarah, do that. Very, very good. This is a bit of a sweet mate. Yeah, that one might not be so good. It's bent. So there's our platform taking shape. We've got the whole family involved here, kids and everybody. So it's coming together. All right, I put the board in here. We've got her framed in, all put together. That's where the batteries will sit, and it's underneath the porch roof and protected from the elements. Okay. Um, well, we're putting the batteries on the platform here. Let's see if I can handle this alone. This is 160 pounds a piece. centered so their weight is evenly spread out on these boards. And the terminals are towards the back for safety so that uh, there's less chance of somebody accidentally bumping them after they're connected. And then we'll put a, uh, a cover over these to protect them from the elements even further. wires here that are perfect for connecting these together. So the batteries will be connected in parallel, increase the current, and the voltage will stay 12 volts. Recording? Yes, good. So now here we have to be very careful because we're working with exposed wires and we do not want to short anything together. Actually, it wouldn't be bad to hit this with a wire brush, so I'm going to pause the camera for a minute and we'll uh, clean up these contacts a little bit. Okay. So these have been, uh, these were outdoors before. Just want to clean them so they have good contact. It's not the nicest wire brush, but it'll work. And clean these off. Wrote it pretty badly. Now, doing this you have to be very, very careful. I hold everything steady in my hand, see that? And the black is minus, so we connect that first. Do it loosely. And then we bring it over to the next black. And carefully make sure you don't short anything out. You have to be very, very careful here. Because if you touch that to the red one, you have an explosion. Now, this one looks very good. Now again, carefully holding the ends so nothing connects together. The uh, rubber on this is sticking out too far. Okay. 
Where's that um, knife we had, the utility knife? You have it there? Mm-hmm. The rubber on this is sticking out too far. Thank you. I suppose the other one is going to be the same, yeah. Turn that back a bit. Okay. Now, carefully holding the wires together so I don't short anything out. I don't want to have an explosion here. Now the positive is connected. Now the batteries are connected together in parallel. So they've increased their power. The cross. You have another screwdriver there, don't you? Yeah, that, that one right there. That's Could I get that screwdriver, please? Thank you. Now, I'm going to put this up here. But you can you can put that when you bought the builder belt on the side here. That's it. I'm going to start with one screw. And um, do you need a compass drill? Uh, n I don't think so. I screw that to the wall. Yeah, this is going to hold this in place. Make it straight. Johnny? Now, if you guys can tell me if this is straight. Yeah. Does that look pretty good right there? Or is it down a little bit, maybe? How's that look? That's good. Uh, down a bit on the left. A bit more. A little bit more? That's good. That's good. Okay. No, no, no. Just put it in here. I put it in here. Okay, the charge controller is in place. Now I just got to cut the wires and let's see, I've got the two wires here. I'm going to have plus and minus, I want them the same size. So I'm basically coming from here up to here to the battery, give us some play room. All right, I need some side cutters. Hi. Uh, this might work very nice. And that one will help me strip the wire, possibly. Thank you. Alright, so... Let's see here. I only need one of these, actually. I can measure the one off the other. I want to come from here, up to here. Give myself some playroom for wiring. So that's a relatively short wire to go from the charge controller to the battery. That's fine. same size.
Yes. One more different suggestion. Uh, Change of plans. We're going to take this apart and put the batteries in this big box with a hinged lid, put the electronics on the inside of the lid and everything can close up nice and neat and safe and make it child proof because there are kids running around so I'm just going to real quick uh, take this back apart and put it in the box here so we've got the box sitting here step back a minute we've got it on board so it's raised up and uh, that'll keep the moisture off the bottom of the box prolong its life this actually works out pretty nicely for the batteries and I've reconnected the batteries together in parallel and there's a lid This can now act as a bench it almost reminds me of my RV when I made the battery box bench it's just about the same thing so I'm going to carry on with uh, hooking up the charge controller as I had begun got the wires here so I'm just going to pick up where I left off with uh, wiring up the charge controller in the box Charge controller will hook up to the batteries first. Now, I will need a flat tip screwdriver. Can you grab that for me, please? So, battery plus. Right hand, yes. Battery plus. Going to here. I just need a mirror to see what I'm doing. Thank you. Oh, that's yeah, down there. The hole on this is way, way, way under. Well, that screwdriver doesn't fit. I need a smaller tip. All right, let's uh, stop for a minute. All right, now. We need a bus bar would be best here, but I'm working with what I got for now. It works so much better. That will be added later on. Ugh. All right, I'll put the uh, negative on. And then the charge controller should have power in a minute here. We want to go with the opposite negative, so we don't want to go on the same battery, we want to go on the opposite battery, which is convenient, which keeps the wires the same distance, the same length. It's perfect how this is set up. So in a minute here, the uh, charge controller is going to have power. And if you look at the charge controller, bring the camera down here, you can see... Look down here at the display. Bring it on down. You can see that it's showing. You can uh, hit the record button. Wait. The uh, charge controller has power, and it's got uh, the display is working, so all is well. All right. There's our setup so far. Solar charge controller is working. The batteries are in a nice, safe box. The solar panels are going to conveniently go right up here on the roof, and we've got the uh, end connectors I'll put where we can reach them. Leaves me with these connections free to work on. Now, let me see the camera a second. Thank you very much, my 
small assistant. <laughs> all right, the panels will all sit up here together, but we'll have to angle them up like this so they'll be into the Australian sun, which is at the north in this country. So, but for now, we're just going to get these wired up and then worry about angling them and setting them on a frame later because we have to build a frame for these and we'll make it adjustable as well. All right, I'm just going to twist tie these together for now and later, well, maybe we have some connectors here. Let me see. I was thinking we have to go to town, but we might have the right size connectors. Let me see. I got these crimp on connections. If they'll fit, we're in luck. might be able to make this work. We want to connect these securely. Actually this is going to be, I have to think, these are going to have to be connected to a common terminal. So I'm going to just twist tie these for now because later we're going to have to redo these when get all the panels together. Right now we're just running a test with one panel. Make sure the charge controller is working nicely. These flies in Australia are all over me as they do best. We also need a um, fuse block. Okay, which is plus and which is minus on here? Uh, this one's minus. Okay, this one's minus. So I'll take one of these. And we're just going to twist tie these until we get the bus bar later on. And use a little bit of tape. This is a temporary connection just to test the system. Now these can be reused later, so I'm not worried about cutting that end off. The, none of the solar panels has any proper connections on it, so we'll save them for later. Okay, there's the negative wire. Lay that over here. And look, this one's got tape, so we'll make that the positive. Down below, you can hear the drill running. Drilling a hole in a box. Getting ready for this. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this taped first. Okay. Now, is the hole ready down there? Uh, yep. All right. Here's the minus wire. We'll do one at a time. Bring the minus wire down and through. Well, let's go back downstairs. 
You can shut off the camera. Look over here. Oops. You got it on? All right. Well, we got the negative wire here. Look over here. See the hole we've got in the box. And then the wire goes up. Look, follow the wire up and outside of the solar panels. Now we're going to put this on to the charge controller. Uh, PV minus. Stick that in there. Now, someone runner, confirm, lift up that solar panel and make sure that is the minus wire. I always triple check my work. This wire should be minus on this side. Yep. Okay, I always triple check. All right, now I need this wire here. We'll bring it down. The one that we have marked as positive with the tape on it. We'll run it through the hole here. Okay, there we go. Now I need the side cutters. Is the side cutter up there on the roof? Thank you. I intentionally didn't strip the positive wire until after we had it fit through the box for safety reasons. Okay. We're about to have solar power. That's the plus. So PV plus goes right here. There it is. And it says bolt charge. Battery voltage 12.7. Here, let me refocus on that. There we go. We've got 1.7 amps coming in. The controller is doing its job and restricting the amount of current coming in. And it's circling through all the diagnostics. It has had zero amp hours. Oops, 0.6 amp hours has come in. And it's on bolt charge mode. So it's doing its job. Battery voltage 12.7. Looking good. There we have a completed solar power system. And there it is. So the next step is we'll hook up the rest of the solar panels later and also our power inverter and we can start using our solar power.